Yes, sir. Big Stewie checking in, man. We in the building. You know, it's trapping up the trap house. We got a lot of big things going on, a lot of big business. I told y'all always linking with who going on in the city, what's popping in the city. It ain't always about rap music. It ain't. A, it's about entrepreneurs. It's about black men doing positive things and getting to that bag. Yeah. I got my brother Jay checking in here. Got a clothing line. He want to tell you about Let him know the brand name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, what up, what up, world? It's love for Crew J checking in. Love for Crew Brandon and Co. CEO, creative director of Love for Crew Brandon and Co. Most definitely in the building. What up, Stewie? So, I mean, I've been seeing you moving around the city, man. You're doing your thing, man. Yeah, it's hard to miss. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Love for Crew, man. Tell me about this brand, bro, that you that you bring into to Urban Atlanta. For shit show, shit. What well, Love for Crew mean? Life, understanding, values, creatively restoring unity. Four represents, I feel, culturally responsible for dripping the culture all four seasons. Mm. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Come on now. It takes four quarters to make a dollar. Come on now. That's love for crew in its entirety, right? Come on now. Then we're going to circle back around and give you the power of the hands. Okay. Which is the official logo to the brand. Okay. And that's, to me, like, it's it, the more I talk about it, the more I explain it. It's self-explanatory. Right. It's power of the hands, one hand reaching down, one hand reaching up. Really? It's about unity. Yeah, you can connect. You, you, We all done been on both sides of that. You either need some help or you're in a position to give some help. Mm, come on now. So wherever you at in that realm, that's where the connection at. And that's what I believe the street's fucking with. So that's so true. now back in the day, you, yeah. you really kind of start off, you jumped in the scene doing the music thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people know you from that. Yeah. But what made you jump into the fashion world? Because, you know, that's a different type of world. Yeah, you know what for I mean? sure. Well, I understand that the music is a window. Mm -hmm. And I understand window of opportunity. Come on now. And when you miss it, you got to reinvent yourself. Mm. And that's what this is. It's just a reinvented. I'm not in no way. I'm not trying to just music and rapping as a young man's sport. And I have another tape in me. Okay. Push come to show. But I understand that striking first. Right. Once I strike first at what I'm passionate about and mm. what my initial mission is. Okay. They're going to be calling for an album. Right. They're going to be calling to try to group all this thing together to be like a label. Right. I understand that. I understand the power of success. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things, a lot of people get it misconstrued. They try to put their hands in too many baskets and they, they don't end up striking at anything. You okay. know what I'm saying? So fashion is my strike, right? Mm -hmm. Once I strike that, she you can do whatever you want to do. I can do whatever I want to do. I go from creative designer to being in movies. So, so what are you? Who are you, who influences you? Like, what, what is? How does this brand? Like, how how did you even get started? As far as like when you come up with your brands, like what's next for you? How are you influenced? Like, what fashion designers influence you? Okay, to? what fashion and uh, influences uh, design me is Car Can I. Mm, okay, I grew up in the '90s. So I grew up big on No, okay, that makes sense now. Yeah, okay, yeah, I yeah. see it. I grew up in uh the cross colors era, the car canai era, the HBCU hoodie era, mm -hmm. the Martin era, the right. air raids. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Talk the Bo Jackson. Come on now. The early Jordans, the retro shit for real, for real. So that's where I come from. I come from the ninety. I'm a nine I'm 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 a eighties baby, but I was nineties raised. Mm. So you, everything that come with that is a reflection of what love for crew got going on. So at what point of your life yeah. did you know like, you know what I mean? Like I wanna do something different. I want to jump into this fashion world. I want to do something to give back to my people. You know what I mean? Because I, I feel like your prices are good prices. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You're not yeah. busting nobody here. It's good affordable prices. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? It's definitely affordable for, for a wide range of people. I think yeah. that sometimes clothing designers get too big and they kind of yeah. get out of certain people's tax bracket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which well, causes problems in our community also. Well, you can't create based on other people's budgets. Come on You now. know what I'm saying? If you got some real good shit, then you have to set your prices because it becomes a point in the game where you have to stay and be real stiff on your prices. Mm. And that's all based on... I See, I got a different philosophy. Come luxury is based on what other people classify as luxury, not mm. what you classify as luxury. Okay. I can think I'm all this and all that, but I'm so more in tune to what other people think. I'm one of them type of people, I don't get too high, I don't get too low. You know what I'm saying? I stay right there in the middle. You know what I'm saying? I know how to navigate within that space. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I understand how fickle the marketplace is. Facts. And I'm not the only designer. And in Atlanta especially, everybody thinks they're somebody, right? Right. Nobody wants to be regular in Atlanta. Facts. You know that. Facts. Right? Every, Facts. Nobody wants to be regular in Atlanta. So I understand how to operate in that space and kind of, you know, dance around and kind of find and strike in the marketplace where it's beneficial to what I'm trying to accomplish financially and what I can do to push through the culture. Yeah. So how difficult is for to get your brands in different different stores? I know we got a lot of boutiques and mama pop stores yeah. like uh Giorgio's and yeah. you got all type of little spots yeah. like that. Like how hard is it to get in those go well, get in those buildings? Well you want to be careful about that. See my thing I'm not even really concerned about getting to somebody's store. See I, I'm I'm approaching my fashion like uh independent artists would 
approaching his music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting the game come to me. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not pressured. I'm not in a rush. This is an organic feel. I got a cult-like following. I believe in that cult-like following come shit. On. You know what I'm saying? I take a, I'm, I know how to make a little bit look like a whole lot. So it don't re- really require a whole lot. My my expectations are always realistic. Right. Based on what's going on, the climate and the temperature of the culture. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure, so, for sure. so I can't miss with that level of, and that perspective. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. So where can they actually find your clothing line at? Like is you basically online based or what? Actually, I am predominantly online based. Love for crew, L-U-V, number four, C-R-U dot com. Simple as plain. And I'm also housed in the House of Fresh. Come on now. Yeah. Drummer got, boy. Yeah, we got a real heavy relationship with drama, hurry, and then everything that's going on with the House of Fresh. So th- right now, that's the only place that I'm housed at. But most of my sales and most of my energy either comes from a hand-to-hand exclusive, hand-to-hand relationship or online. Uh, well, yeah. I definitely appreciate you dropping off my pack because I'm definitely going to be rocking that. Oh, yeah, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? So online, how do, you, how do they get in contact with you online? L-U-V, number four, C-R-U dot com. Simple and plain. And you, know, who dot com. and you know we always be kicking good game, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me um, something you would tell this young black man that's on the corner right now, a young black man that doesn't have a father, doesn't have any black role models in his life, and he wants to become a fashion designer. Well, what, the what? thing is to stick to what you're doing. Come See, on now. I think Talk I, to this me. generation is so microwave and so scatterbrained in its nature that if they don't feel like it pop right away, they off to doing something else. See, I understand the power of success. I understand that success will open up the door for everything that you in your wildest dreams can imagine. But you got to be successful at something. You know what I'm saying? So I think what a lot of young guys need to do is just hone in. They're not locked in. Mm. I think what a lot of this generation is, they scatterbrain. If it don't work in two weeks, they off to something else. They're mm. rapping. They're producing. They're vid- they videographers. Like, find something, stick to it, and just follow it through. That's perfect your craft. Way. Yeah, perfect your craft. And then from there, be successful at something. Once you become successful at something, I believe every, the whole game will lay down for you. So let me ask you a question. Was there yeah. any time that doing this process of, of creating this lane that you ever feel like, you know what, this might not be it? Maybe no, just not one time. I didn't. Mm. Because this comes from, I'm, I'm a seasoned, I'm, I consider myself a young OG. So all the mistakes that somebody could have made leading up into this point, I done already did. So I believe once you know better, you do better. And then you make conscientious decisions mm. to kind of lock in on something. It's very, very pivotal at this particular point for me in my life to make sure that I strike at something. Come on now. Once I strike at Love for Crew and get this brand popping, next thing you know, I'll be doing movies. Or I'll be flying planes. I just don't put no limitations on my game. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I think I, So with that perspective, I'm not in a rush. So whatever I take with the game – Give me. I, I let the game come to me, per se. Yeah, I, I see a young lady with you. She she got a love for crew shirt on, so yeah, you got yeah, ladies yeah. too, huh? Yeah, for sure. Come I on, tell it. me about this lady side. Okay, so what I do, I drop my clothes in capsules. You know what I'm saying? That's four seasons. Winter, spring, summer, fall, I drop. I, some people call, most fashion designers call their stuff collections mm-hmm. or whatever they may call it. I call my designs and my uh, work capsules Mm. that way it condenses everything that i'm trying to do because i'm a newcomer i'm trying to get the marketplace i'm trying to uh cultivate an audience and i understand it kind of just condense everything you give them too many options i understand how to play with the consumer you know what i'm saying less is best you know what i'm saying quality over quantity Mm. you know what i'm saying yeah, quality of quality. Yeah, you, you hit it on the head, I, man. I hit it right. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to make sure that because that's what I stand on. And I go for broke, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to what I'm doing. So I'm never in a rush. When this shit catch on, it catch on. If it don't catch on, I keep going. Like, like, And the fact that I'm not pressed is the reason why I'm winning. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You're a humble brother because you definitely, I've been seeing it everywhere ever since I met you. Thank you. I've always seen the hand and just saw love accrued. And I'm like, what yeah. is that? Yeah. Not necessarily yeah. knowing what it is, just scrolling, just yeah. seeing it. So you got your face in the right places and you got the right people rocking your stuff. Shout out to that boy Maybach Hot also. Hot. You know what I'm saying? What's we got a mutual friend. You know what I'm yep. saying? I seen him rocking some. So so yep. salute to you, brother. I, you. I, I wish you nothing but the best, I man. I appreciate you. And let them folks know how they can follow you, how they can get that drip. Okay, well, loveforcrew.com is where you can get the drip. If you want the drip, if you don't want to wait on the drip, you can go to the House of Fred. And I I uh, house a small capsule within their store. Some of my latest and greatest is held in their store. 
most of all my work and all my creative designs go straight to the website. And I'm actually at the point where I'm doing digital designs. I've created a, a buzz enough to now I can pre-order. Mm. See, a lot of people don't understand the pre-order game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's called scaling. When you scale and I, I have a scaling mentality, I'm so creative, I couldn't possibly produce everything that I create. Right, facts. Right? Because, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's Money is just like, you know, yeah. you never know what everybody's going to yeah, like. Yeah, so what, what I've honed in on is building my buzz and my cachet enough to make somebody say, hey, research, hey, if you like this, you should like that. Let me pre-order it. Mm. But that comes with building the buzz and touching the turf and really, really shaking hands and kissing babies and a lot of stuff that people don't really be equipped and have the skill set to do. Now I'm at a space where now I'm going to go through and start doing a digital catalog where I already understand what I know the, um, the, the people in the marketplace want. I give them two color options and they can pre-order. Mm. Yeah, so now I'm up for pre order I done worked myself up into a space where I can now say, hey, pre-order this shit. Come on, man. Yeah. I ain't bad, man. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, trap another trap house. Yeah. Love a crew. That yeah. boy, Jay. Yeah. Black entrepreneurs, black kings working yeah. together, man, making a difference, man. That's why I love to see it. Salute to you, King, and I'm definitely going to be rocking your stuff. As soon as I put it on, I'm going to make sure I tag you. For sure. For sure. See all day, power to hands. I want to send a big shout out to everybody that has supported me from day one. Some people that uh, got something from me on the love that wore it immediately, posted tag. I want to send a big shout out to the people that actually spent some money with the brand online trust in our process you see one thing about us as black people we got to trust the black people's process mm, you got to trust it if you order from me you're gonna get your shit in two days right you facts. know what i'm saying and i've cultivated and developed that uh relationship with my core you know what i'm saying and i'm proud of that you know what i'm saying people know if they see it on the website they they like it on the website it's gonna be the same product when they hit their hands come on now. you know what i'm saying it's now. just a whole process that people really, really got to tap into when they trying to do it at the level that I'm trying to do it at. Well, you definitely doing King. Yeah, Salute yeah, to you, man. Love yeah, for, for Crew sure. J is in the yeah. building. Trapped yeah, out the yeah. trap house. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. Shit show. 